time for another video where people talk and I wait for my turn to speak while looking weird. Hey, popular people, happy Thursday after Christmas. As you can see, we are here in our Christmas pajamas, given to us by Jesse Schneiderman, uh, who plays Jenna Benet and Brooklyn Cacciatore. Thank you for the pajamas, Jesse. As you can see, we're wearing them, and they are uncomfortable. They are neat. <laughs> There we go. This 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 video is all about the top ten moments of MPGIS this year. You guys voted, and here is the list. Starting at number ten, we have a little thing that we like to call a rock contest 2013. I received a text about pie. Oh, Deandra, yes, that was me. I sent you that text. Unfortunately, to be honest, I don't actually have any pie. I see. So I assume it's a cheesecake? A meringue? Some sort of dessert with whipped topping? Because I'm sure you didn't drag me across the Sahara Desert that is a faculty parking lot for nothing, right? I was afraid you wouldn't come without an incentive, and I wanted to ask you some questions about Atchison. Oh! Well, it's a city in central Kansas situated along the Missouri River with a population of 11,000. Named after David Rice Atchison, and every July, the city holds an Amelia Earhart Festival where rest assured there is always plenty of fucking pie! To be fair, I didn't technically say that there would be pie. I'm sorry, but in what universe is an emoji of pie preceded by the words wants them that a clear indication that you are in possession of pie and are offering it to me? Is this your idea of a joke? You're gonna start putting some goddamn winky faces and JKs in these fucking text messages, Zales. Good day! So I think we all learned about it last in that episode. You're gonna chat to somebody about pie. Be sure you bring some fucking pie. Number nine on our list is when Fan first meets our villain of season three, Jenna Darabont. I came out. Oh, you're gay? No, well, I mean, I came out, but I, I, I went back in, so ish. I kind of, um, look, I sucked off a guy to the beach in a bathroom, so that's there, but there's also a lot of stuff going on inside. Yeah, I feel that. I'm bisexual. Uh huh, and what's that now? I'm bisexual. I like boys and girls. Oh, oh, oh what now? You. Wait. Bo that's a thing? Yeah, I mean, there's great things about men and women. Why should I have to choose? <laughs> exactly! That's, I mean, with guys, they're, they're strong, they're handsome, they smell good, it feels really nice to be held by one. And girls, uh, you know, they got good stuff too. You're right. I like you, Than. You don't seem to play by other people's rules. I don't play by anyone's rules! Why don't you join our group? Fuck yeah! Hey, there's guys in your group too, right? So it turns out you like boys and girls. Yeah. Yeah. I'll make them all you know. Anyways, moving on to number eight is the Upside Down Pyramid from Cherry Nationals. So far, so good. But let's see what they got in store for the finale. Are you sure about this? Let's fucking do this. <gasps> we'll suck my dick in a public restroom, goddamn! Holy chocolate dick burgers! I would like to shot a live action video in our uh, PA Garrett is actually shaking the pyramid with his hands to make it look like oh. Okay. Hey, good morning. Yeah. Number seven is when the Trisha's made. Hey, what's your name? Trisha. What? Trisha. Yes? What's your name? Uh, Trisha. What? Um, it's Trisha with a T. Yeah. Uh, That's how you spell it. Yeah. Trisha? Trisha. Yeah, what's your name? Nice to meet you. What's your name? Um, Trisha. Yes, what do you want out of me? Yeah. Trisha? Have you never heard this name before? Um, I'm sorry. I pronounce it Trisha. What about you? I pronounce it Trisha. That's what my mom says. Okay. Trisha! What? what? Oh. Wait, do you spell with a T? Which part? The beginning. Every time. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> God, they're done. Moving on. Uh, number six. It belongs to one of our newest characters here at FBJ. It's a very popular character. Caitlin Zales joining Deandra at Thanksgiving. What am I sitting next to you, little Zales? I'm not eating. I had too many crayons. Been there. <laughs> Fucking been there. You're gonna have some colorful poops now. Caitlin, close on! I'm a turkey! God 
Damn it, Caitlin! I'm sorry, Deandra. Oh, no, no problem. This story actually reminds me a lot of myself when I was two. She's seven. Yeah. Well, it looks like you guys are out of food. What the fuck? Thank God. I'll clean up. See you guys later. later. <laughs> gabble, gabble. <laughs> so, number six came to us from the Thanksgiving episode. Number five also comes to us from the Thanksgiving episode with the Andrew's opening monologue and the introduction to this fine piece of machinery for eating on. Operation Thanksgiving. You really outdid yourself with the stuff in this year, Mom. And Grandma, it's green beans. Mwah! All right, Deandra. Phase one is complete. Now it's time to execute Operation Thanks Give Me. God, God. such a good name. Such a good name. Let right, me switch this out for my eating arm. Yeah, looking good. Who's the best? You're the best. You've had all year long to prepare for this day. Are you ready? You're goddamn right I'm ready. Gobble, gobble, motherfucker. Gobble, gobble. Yes, gobble, gobble, motherfucker. <laughs> Who knew Gobble Gobble was a fucking piece of Yeah, especially after Thanksgiving. Still going. Still Number four is the Wilson Crochet. As I gazed out over my kingdom of popularity, the Mountain Dew and Corn Dogs coalesced with a pastrami quesadilla I had for lunch somewhere in my lower intestine. Ignited by the Pop Rocks, I had what we in the IBS community call. A Wilson Poopsie. Oh, oh my god, you pooped your pants. Yes, I pooped my pants. And then I pooped outside of my pants. And then I pooped on my shoes squad. Then I pooped on everything within a 30 minute radius. Then I pooped on the city. Oh, oh my god, please stop, I'm gonna be sick. When you pressure blast Mountain Dew out of your anus, it's not easily forgotten. After that, I was ruined. I wasn't just the girl who pooped her pants. I was the girl who monster dumped on two prom court members, a K&K princess, and a junior class treasurer. The uh, feces are made from crushed up pinto beans with a foil of love coat shot out of a turkey baster. <laughs> so that's fun. I'm in drama. And now we're at the top three of our list for this year's favorite <laughs> family. YouTube well, we got a series of part-time jobs. Yeah, we've really been getting our shit together. Okay, come on, 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 come there is a car. It's in an accident. It's really bad. Wow, that was a really great job by us. Yeah. And we got a bronze medal for our performance. Uh, moving on to number two. <laughs> Let's see. And my epic cheerleader. No, no. And I will be dressed as the Statue of Liberty. I bet you didn't know that came from France. Actually, I did know that name, but you know it didn't come from France. And boom goes the dynamite. This other f***ing beret wearing, boyfriend stealing, giggling, stuttering piece of Canadian horse Yeah, I said it. F*** you, say that, Marguerite. F*** you, f*** your boyfriend and the f***ing fetus that's growing inside of the disease-ridden boy that you call a goddamn womb. And f*** you, Shay Van Buren. F*** you, you glob of donkey c***. I hope you don't want to know for the sh things you did today. Because you are not the least bit sneaky. You're not the least bit clever. And your only talent is opening your legs for penises that would rather be inside of me! Uh, as you guys know, that uh, epic cheerleader meltdown generated a whole bunch of different pieces of the viral content, as they call it. Uh, it appeared in a subsequent video with a bunch of fans doing their own versions. And it's now on a t-shirt. It's on phone cases, iPad cases. You can buy it on here by clicking right somewhere over here. If you like to meltdown, feel free to get some of your cool meltdown merchandise. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for, you guys all voted, every single one of you did, and the number one favorite NBJIS moment from 2013. Overland Park Church Squad bitches out the Ashton Church Squad. You know what, Tanya? I have one thing to say to you. Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck do you think you are? Yeah. You think you can bitch me out? I 
I'm a queen of bitch. You look a bitch in the dictionary and you're gonna see my fucking face. Well, I guess it's just you and me. Ashley Catadorian. I mean, you and the fuck with my team and my fucking mall coming in here with their fucking Disney motherfucking bullshit. Like, you, you know what? You like Adam Sandler movies? Well, the price is wrong, bitch. In a lazy fucking river. <laughs> well, the joke's on you because Gus has been giving hand jobs to every fucking member of the Addison High football team. <laughs> and you know what they had to say about you? Not a goddamn thing. Because no one gives a fuck about you, Taylor. You're a goddamn sidekick. A fucking punchline to Tommy Brickle with his fucked up life. Hey, knock knock, Taylor. Who's there? No one. That's right. Because you're going to die alone. Well, there will be no Armageddon here today. Because I'm Ben Halleck. <laughs> and, and I'm on a rocket ship back to Earth. Along with Aerosmith and Steve Buscemi and all everybody else, all right? And I'm going to make a fuck out with Liv Tyler. And you're Bruce Willis, sitting on a fucking rock, dying. And you have to press the button because you're going to fucking die. Well, press the button, Ashley Gatchadorian. Press the button because we're sick and tired of shit. I hope you enjoy this fucking ride. You are the cause of all this. You're the reason she has a robot arm. And you're the reason why you don't fucking hide. I got a gun on All right? I hope you enjoy the fucking ride. Thank you, everyone who voted. Thank and you. Hope you guys enjoy your top ten list. Thank you. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to watch all of our other cool videos. Thank you. <laughs> and next Tuesday will be our New Year's Eve special with our special guest Jason Earl. Thank you, Jason Earl. Yes. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Like on the videos. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> Damn you. <laughs>